Hello guys, today we're going to take a look at how to set up the Arduino IDE so that you can use it with your NRF24 L01 radio modules. So the first thing you need to do is head to the Arduino website and download the Arduino IDE. Once you follow the getting started instructions on the Arduino website, you should get a program that looks like this. This is the Arduino IDE. Or integrated development environment and this is where you write your code for your Arduino and you upload it. When you first install your Arduino IDE you should have some example code so you go to file examples and these are tutorials for all the different functions that you normally test out when you're um, when you're using an Arduino or you can use these different codes to build the code that you finally want to use. So if we go into here some basic, these are to do with LEDs, that fades an LED in and out, this one blinks it, this reads from a potentiometer, um, you have some for servos, there's servos, that's the uh, sketch for testing your servo where you turn the potentiometer and that changes the angle of the servo, this one sweeps the angles of the servo. So as you can see, there's a lot of different examples that come with your Arduino IDE when you install it first. If you're looking for your own code, that's in the sketchbook, but this is a fresh install of the Arduino ID, so I've none. So let's save something. So here's our blink sketch, comes up in a different box, and all it does is set pin 13 to be an output, and it turns pin 13 high for 1000 milliseconds and low for 1000 milliseconds. So let's just save this as test. So now I've saved that as test, should be in our sketchbook. So there's test in our sketchbook. So that's the code that I wrote. If I close this, I can go over here, sketchbook, test, and there's my code. So if we take our, our sketch test, we can go to tools, we can go to board. Here's where we can select our board, whatever board we're using. So say Arduino Uno is selected at the minute. We can go to Arduino Pro Mini, that's what I usually use in the tractors. So now we have Arduino Pro Mini selected. And if we look here, we have a the serial port, and the serial port has to be the port that you have your Arduino connected to. Uh, it usually comes up when you plug in the Arduino. If you don't have an Arduino plugged in, it won't come up. But if your computer has a serial port, you might already have a COM port already visible. So you need to check which one your Arduino is actually connected to if you have more than one. So now if we want to check that this code is working correctly, we go to verify, which is this little tick here. And we see it says that it's done compiling and it gives us some details about our sketch here. So this is where errors would normally arrive. So let's say I delete this semicolon. Now the code is incorrect so we should get an error and it told me that this is missing one of these semicolons is missing before this uh, bracket here so uh, see the same error here so any errors that your code has will show up here so I'll just put that semicolon back in and the code works fine so that's how you verify that your code is, is working then when you want to upload your code to the Arduino, you just hit this little arrow here that uploads to your Arduino. I don't have an Arduino connected, so this won't work. It's taking a long time because it's not working. So it gives us this error that the uh, Arduino is not in sync. So you usually get that when you don't have a good connection to your Arduino. When you first get the Arduino IDE, it's not set up for the NRF24 L01 radio module. So when you go into the examples, there are no examples here. So what you have to do is go to github.com forward slash maniac bug forward slash RF24. That will bring you to a, a section of files on github.com that are basically the library that you need for your Arduino. So if you go to download zip over here so we hit download zip then we need to save that somewhere so 
I'll just save it to downloads for the time being. So now I have that folder in my downloads, so I can copy that. And if I go to my documents, there's an Arduino folder that was created when I installed the Arduino IDE. So I go into that folder, and in there there's a libraries folder. So I paste that in here. And now I need to right click and extract that. So I just extract what's in there. It's going to save it in a new folder called RF24 Master. So we extract that. And now inside our Arduino libraries we have RF24 Master. You need to check that the RF24 Master folder is in libraries. So it should go Arduino libraries RF24 Master. It shouldn't go Arduino libraries RF24 Master RF24 Master and then the folder. Make sure that there's only one RF24 Master because if you have two it's not going to work. It has to be just one. So inside libraries needs to be this folder. When you click it you need to see these files. Now the next thing you need to do is close your Arduino IDE and reopen it. And now when you reopen it you should be able to find in your examples a new folder RF24 master with lots of new examples. So we'll just click a random example that opens up. Now to test that our RF24 uh, Arduino library has installed properly all you need to do is hit verify and that has uh, verified that that code is correct which means that you have properly installed the library because you can see here that it says to include the libraries that you just uh, installed so they have to be working if they're not working you'll get an error here if you get any errors on the Arduino uh, you can always head over to the Arduino forums and ask there or if you get a problem with some of my code for the uh, RC tractors you can ask me make sure that you copy the error from this area because it's very hard for me to tell you what's wrong with the code if I don't know what the error is so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you how to do if uh, you have any comments or questions on that you can post them below the video or in the forum and uh, if you like the video make sure and hit the thumbs up button and uh, that's pretty much everything, so thanks very much for watching.